Appreciate it for a little windy of a, a day. Uh, today, those winds will be much lighter. What was that circulation center as well assured? Never got a name, uh, tro potential tropical cyclone eight, but all that moisture has been coating North Carolina, and there's been some drier air wrapping around, and that's why today we're looking pretty dry on this uh, Tuesday. Small chance for isolated showers, mainly south of Jacksonville, but for most of us, we're looking at a fairly sunny sky, mostly clear skies here, and temperatures which will be slightly warmer than yesterday as we top out in the uh, upper 80s for many of those inland locations. So highs today, a touch cooler along the coast. We're going to have a bit of a sea breeze, but it's going to be weak and not make much progress inland. Today, it's the westerly flow that takes over and replaces those northeasterly winds. Here you can visually see the drier air shown by these uh, kind of uh, red colors there. That's displaced all the moisture that was over us yesterday that led to those morning showers hours and those low clouds. Uh, we're not going to be seeing that here today. In fact, this is a forecast model that shows all the holes in the white, which is the clouds. And notice by later in the afternoon, we could start to see a few showers or thunderstorms bubbling up along I-75 as early as 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then the steering flow would take those across some of our southern counties. So those of you that live in Putnam County, you might see a small chance for some rain today, also across southern clay, and then over to Towards southern uh, St. John's County. Now the tropical satellite doesn't show much development anywhere over the Caribbean Sea, but out here this is actually Gordon. It's still uh, managing to hold together some thunderstorms. In fact, overnight they've increased, and now the Hurricane Center says it could probably last a little longer and actually refire back to a stronger tropical storm. Right now it just has winds below tropical storm strength, but could eventually by the end of the weekend. Uh, uh, acquire 65 mile per hour type of winds as it moves northward and stays out over the open Atlantic water. So other than that, uh, not much to speak of in the tropics, but back here on the home front, all the moisture from that uh, low is going to be moving up towards New Jersey. And as we zoom into our backyard here, we can see that today looks pretty dry. There could be some of those showers that I mentioned tracking through the southern areas here later in the day and more towards central Florida. But there you see around uh, areas into Palaka. We might see some of those showers lingering as late as 7, 8 o'clock tonight before those fall apart again. Now tomorrow could be a little bit of a different story. We'll see a slight uptick in some rain on Wednesday, building back into the area first around the I-75 corridor and then tracking in towards Jacksonville. So rain chances on Wednesday go up to around 40% as they build back towards the coastal area. So a little weather set up here for tomorrow, but today you'll have lighter winds. So if you are doing some scaffold work today, especially along the coastal areas, should be a little bit more stable for you. And then uh, as we head towards the afternoon, that sea breeze will try to turn on and work inland. And it's the southern area where the west and, and east coast sea breezes might fire up some of those storms south of Green Cove Springs. There's also the coastal flood warning along the St. John's River. High tide is around 1030 this morning, so you might have a water levels uh, getting up to around one and a half feet above normal there. And along the beaches, there's a coastal flood advisory for nuisance flooding during the high tide, which is coming up here earlier in the morning at 751. The surf is uh, forecasted to drop, continue to drop. It's about half the size as yesterday, but notice over the weekend, especially on Sunday, we could get waves building back up to around the four foot range on the sand bars with a northeast wind that starts to get a little bit stronger. So over the next couple of days, a little bit of a bump up in our rain potential tomorrow into Thursday, then decreasing on Friday over the weekend. Steadier breezes pick up and that drops your temperatures a little bit back down into the mid 80s. Amanda, I'll see